First Minister for over eight years. And I was Deputy First Minister for, the, Minister for the best part of eight years before that. These jobs are a privilege, but they are also rightly hard. And especially in the case of First Minister, relentlessly so. Now, to be clear, I'm not expecting violins here, but I am a human being as well as a politician. When I entered government in 2007, my niece and youngest nephew were babies, just months old. As I stepped down, they are about to celebrate their 17th birthdays. Now that I think about it, that's exactly the age to be horrified at the thought of your auntie suddenly having more time for you. <laughs> My point is this, giving absolutely everything of yourself to this job is the only way to do it. The country deserves nothing less. But in truth, that can only be done by anyone for so long. For me, it is now in danger of becoming too long. A First Minister is never off duty, particularly in this day and age, there is virtually no privacy. Even ordinary stuff that most people take for granted, like going for a coffee with friends or for a walk in your own, becomes very difficult. And the nature and form of modern political discourse means that there is a much greater intensity Dare I say it, brutality to life as a politician than in years gone by. All in all, and actually for a long time without it being apparent, it takes its toll on you and on those around you. And if that is true in the best of times, it has been more so in recent years, 